It's time now for the Wednesday, September the 18th, 2019 edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral service for Bobby McGee, 88 at Mule Shoe, was held this past Saturday, September the 14th, at the 16th and D Church of Christ here in Mule Shoe, with Curtis Shelburne officiating, along with Vaughn Gossman of Clovis. Burial was in the Bailey County Cemetery. Bobby died last week on Wednesday, September the 11th in Friona. He was born March 21st, 1931 in Maud, Oklahoma to Claude Lee and Nola V. Kelly McGee. He married Peggy Jo Robinson in Muleshoe on December the 22nd, 1950. Bobby loved farming in his church. He enjoyed playing games, especially cards and dominoes. He taught Sunday school for many years and served as an elder. He is preceded in death by his parents, a daughter, Deidre Firestone, two sisters, Bernice Rakes and Dixie Pauline Barnes, two brothers, Bert McGee and Harold McGee. Bobby is survived by his wife of over 68 years, Peggy, two daughters, Era White and her husband, Billy of Hereford, Lydia White and her husband, Kenny of Oklahoma Lane, his four grandchildren, Jason White, Dustin White, Mark, and uh, Mark White and his wife, Jessica, and Landon White and his wife, Bailey, along with three great-grandchildren, Castley, Blake, and Joe Lee. The family suggests memorials be sent to the charity of your choice. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating funeral service for Bobby McGee, 88 of Mule Shoe, was held this past Saturday, September the 14th, at the 16th and D Church of Christ with Curtis Shelburne and Vaughn Gossman officiating. Burial was in the Bailey County Cemetery. Please keep the family of Bobby McGee on your prayer list today. Make sure to look for our new sweetheart program honoring Gladys Williams as she recently celebrated her 100th birthday. So happy 100th birthday to Gladys Williams, our sweetheart, now on Channel 6 and MuleshoeTV.com. Uh, she is a resident of the Parkview Nursing Care Center. Well, if you've been watching over the past several days, especially KCBD has been heavily covering the South Plains Honor Flight, which takes uh, area vets on a free trip uh, to Washington, D.C. to see all of the memorials and sites there in Washington. And from uh, the Muleshoe area native, Gary Welch was on the flight. He's a U.S. Navy veteran who served during uh, the Vietnam War. He now lives in Lubbock, but formerly he lived here in Muleshoe. Originally, he was from Enix and farmed always in the Enix area. He was uh, escorted by his son, Corey Welch of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I spoke with Corey uh, earlier uh, yesterday, and he said they had a great time. They got home last night a little bit after 10 into Lubbock. So glad that Gary Welch, a U.S. Navy veteran who served during the Vietnam War, got to go on the South Plains Honor Flight. Donald Templeton announces that there will be a Working Ranch Cowboy Association sanctioned rodeo in Earth Friday and Saturday, September the 20th and 21st this weekend at 7 p.m. both nights. Only on Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. there will be a Junior Ranch Rodeo. There will be 15 teams nightly from Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Admission is $10.00. For adults, $5 for children, and five and under are free admission. There will be a concession stand that the Earth Volunteer Fire Department will man, and they will provide pulled pork plates. There will be also other items at the concession stand as well for sale. This is the 77th year for the Earth Rodeo. In November, the finals will be held in Amarillo. And again, come everyone is welcome. This weekend, Friday and Saturday, September 20th and 21st, 7 p.m. Each night, there will be a rodeo held in Earth, Texas, and that's at the rodeo grounds there on the edge of town, just as you're coming in from Muleshoe on Highway 70. It's at 7 p.m. each evening. 
Coming up later today on Wednesday, we'll have a video that we shot yesterday at the MISD boardroom at the administration office. It's the Grow Your Own Education and Training Kickoff Celebration, and it was hosted by Muleshoe ISD along with Spring Lake Earth Independent School District. In this program, you will hear from Suzanne King, who's the MISD coordinator for the Grow Your Own program, MISD Superintendent R.L. Richards, along with Donna Brasher, who's an Associate Director of Education Certification at Texas Tech University, along with Denver Crum, the Spring Lake Earth ISD Superintendent, and Assistant MISD Superintendent uh, Dana Hethington, they will all speak and they sort of explain about this program that is getting underway at uh, Muleshoe ISD along with Spring Lake Earth ISD. The Grow Your Own program basically uh, takes employees in the districts and helps them uh, have a path to finish their bachelor degrees and get teaching certificates and become teachers within the school districts it's a good program and look for that coming up later today well also later today hopefully probably this evening we'll have a video where the mhs 2019 homecoming queen candidates will introduce themselves they were announced on monday and the queen candidates are valeria cariega jocelyn ramirez emily mora anna phillips and danielle moran we will have that video up later today so look for it this evening at muleshoetv.com along with the festival Festivities going on for homecoming at MHS this week. There will be a bonfire Thursday evening there next to the country club uh, near the driving range. The pep rally will be at the MHS gymnasium on Friday afternoon at 2.25 p.m. And then the queen coronation ceremony will be at halftime of the Muleshoe versus Brownfield football game. And that game will kick off at Benny Douglas Stadium at 7 p.m. So look for the halftime. Of course, we'll be there to cover all of those events and have the video of all the homecoming festivities up on Saturday at MuleshoeTV.com, our Facebook Gillam and Channel 6 Muleshoe, YouTube Gillam Advertising, and also on the cable system at the Senior Center on our uh, TV, along with the Park View in the West Sunroom. Look for all that homecoming festivities, along with our videos of the uh, Muleshoe versus Brownfield football game. Now, before the football game, gets underway at 7 p.m. You're invited to come out and eat with the MHS senior classes. They will have a barbecue brisket sandwich, beans, chip, dessert, tea, and water meal at the MHS cafeteria and commons area beginning at 5 p.m. until 6.30 p.m. It's $7 per plate. If you would like a plate or multiple plates delivered, they'll do that between 5 and 6.30 as well. You can call 806 272 Seven three zero five. That's a senior class meal. Barbecue brisket sandwich will be held from five until six thirty at the MHS cafeteria commons area. It's seven dollars per plate. If you want a delivery, call eight zero six two seven two seven three zero five between five and six thirty to go out and support the MHS senior class and their class meal. Of course, there will be JV and uh, junior high games against Brownfield on Thursday evening as well. The uh, broadcast of homecoming along with the Brownfield football homecoming game is being brought to you here on Channel 6 and MuleshoeTV.com by Hereford Feed Ingredients, Muleshoe Independent School District, Burton Service Center, the First Bank, Barrett Potato Farms, McDonald's Restaurant, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Mohawk Auto Parts, Wilson Drilling, Leal's Tortilla Factory, WTG Fuels, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Scott's Car Wash, along with Lance Insurance, Farmers Insurance, Julie DeBruin, State Farm 
or excuse me, Irrigation Pumps and Power and K and K Pharmacy. So look for all of that video available tomorrow, or excuse me, on Saturday this weekend. Going on at high school along with the homecoming on Saturday. Uh, they will have a Mules Cross Country. Uh, we'll be participating in a meet at Plainview. And then Mule Shoe Speech and Debate will be at a tournament at Hereford. So good luck to them. Some more homecoming going on this weekend. Johnny St. Clair announces that the MHS class of 1969 will hold their 50th reunion here in Muleshoe this weekend, Friday and Saturday, September 20th and 21st at the Oneida Wagner Senior Center at Main and Avenue D. They'll begin noon on Friday and then Saturday morning they will resume. Of course, go to the game Friday night. Leals will cater lunch on Saturday at the Senior Center. We're going to try to make some interviews at the MHS Class of 1969 50th Reunion, and that will be our Meet Your Neighbor program. So look for that coming up next week, brought to you by United Supermarkets. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Take control of your first bank of Mule Shoe debit card right from your smartphone with the My Mobile Money app. It's customizable card monitoring and controls that help you manage your accounts with my mobile money app you can set interactive controls to help monitor activity and prevent unauthorized use you can turn your card on or off set alerts and deny transactions based on merchant or transaction type and location monitor and control dependent cardholder usage receive notifications of possible fraudulent transactions and take action deposit checks through your phone download the my mobile money app now at the App Store or Google Play. For more information, you can also call the First Bank here in Neilshoe, 806-272-4515 or go by 202 South First Street, the First Bank right here in Neilshoe, offering the My Mobile Money app. Available at the App Store or Google Play, call the First Bank here in Neilshoe, 806-272-4515 or go by 202 South First Street, the First Bank member FDIC. This is Isla Reynolds. Since I am now nine years old and wiser, I can tell you so much more experience about Liao's Mexican Restaurant at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshew, Texas. I recommend you try the Irma Special. It is named for the queen of the Mexican food, Irma Liao, who started Liao's with her husband, Jesse, in 1957. That's right, Liao's has been in business over 60 years now. That is Liao's Mexican Restaurant in Milshew at 1010 West American Boulevard. The winner of the Tattered Tumbleweed Mud Pie Mac Attack Macaroni and Cheese Bowl is Marie Quintana as she guessed 1,775 noodles in the jar and was only 67 off the 1,842 correct answer. Come in and get your prize, Marie, and thanks to everyone who played. Wedding shower selections now available for Cayenne Garner and Jonathan Chavez set for September the 29th. Tons of new outerwear being loaded on the the showroom as the cold weather is getting near like new Wrangler, Ariat, and cinch coats and vests and sizes available for the kids as well. Men's and women's fleece pullovers, concealed carry cinch coats, Wrangler denim cowboy cut jackets. Check out the new mule boxers and new selection of Wrangler Phoenix and Cruisin' West t-shirts. Brand new wild rags also in now at Tattered Tumbleweed along with mud pie and Wrangler kimonos. Look Looking for the perfect gift? Well, Tattered Tumbleweed has you covered with tons of sculpted mugs, emery boards, keychain lanyards, and much more. All available at 1405 West American Boulevard, Tattered Tumbleweed. Call them 806-272-MULE. Open Tuesday through Fridays, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 10 a.m. till 2. Well, it's time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by K&K Pharmacy. First, a message from our sponsor. K&K Pharmacy right here in Muleshoe at 1411 West American Boulevard where Christine K or any of their helpful employees want to help you get rid of your weekly pill box. Find out how K&K Pharmacy can simplify your meds with the K-Pack Custom Medication Packaging Program available now at 1411 West American Boulevard. Call them 806-272-7511. 
K-Pack custom medication packaging available now at K&K Pharmacy where they can simplify your meds and get rid of your weekly pill box. Well, we've had some really nice weather as our highs over the past several uh, days, stretching way back into last week, have been, you know, in the mid to upper 80s. A few days, we only barely got to 80 degrees, but our lows have all been in the lower 60s, so it's starting to feel crisp and cool in the evenings. Last Thursday night, it was actually Friday morning, just around 1 a.m., a thunderstorm rolled up and hit Muleshoe. Here at the Channel 6 weather station, we got 41 one hundredths of an inch of rain last Friday morning early around 1 a.m. until 2 a.m. But looking at our forecast, we haven't had rain since then, but rain chances come back into the forecast. Beginning today on Wednesday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly this afternoon. During the afternoon hours, mostly sunny, high near 90 degrees, south-southwest winds around 10 miles per hour. Then tonight, another 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 a.m., partly cloudy, low tonight around 63. Thursday, a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. In the afternoon hours, partly sunny, high near 87 degrees, south-southeast winds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. Then Thursday night, another 40% chance of showers Showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low around 60. Friday, on homecoming beat Brownfield Day, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon hours, mostly sunny, high around 86 degrees, south winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then Friday night, another 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low around 61. So if you're going out to support the mules, you might want to take an umbrella or a raincoat. Saturday, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Again, partly sunny, high near 86 degrees. South winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Again, partly cloudy, low around 60. Sunday, sunny, high near 86 again. Southwest wind around 10 miles per hour, mostly clear. Sunday night, low around 60. Mostly sunny on Monday, high near 86 degrees. Monday night, rain chances reemerge into our forecast. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy, low around 59. Tuesday, another chance of rain. Partly sunny, high near 82, along with Tuesday night as well. So some good rain chances culminating up to 40% on Thursday, 30% Friday and Saturday. So hopefully we'll get some rain here in the next several days here in the Muleshoe area. But do be aware that the Bailey County Commissioner's Court recently put the burn ban back in effect uh, for Bailey County at our last notice. K&K Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. The Stu- Mule Shoe ISC Student Services Coordinator Stephen Butler announces that Mule Shoe High School will be having a college and career fair for their students and students from surrounding schools as well. They believe that introducing students to local colleges, businesses, and military is an imperative part of the academic experience and they would like to have anyone that wants to attend uh, to come forward or have a booth there. They would like for you to, you can contact Stephen Butler on his uh, email, sbutler, B-U-T-L-E-R, at net. if you would like to take part, at your business would like to take part in this. And that's a college and career fair for Muleshoe High School, Wednesday, November the 20th, 8.30 a.m. until noon at Muleshoe High School. Again, contact Stephen Butler, sbutler, B-U-T-L-E-R, at muleshoeisd.net. Dot net if you would like to take part in that, or you can call high school at 806-272-7302. Well, we mentioned last week that Tumbleweed Smith was in town and did several interviews, including with Mac McLeod, the Barrett uh, family about their potato business, Sergio Liao about the tortilla factory and the Mexican restaurant, and the uh, rock band that was stuck in Muleshoe Breaking Solace. And we do have some news r- to report. They split up, and Dan, the lead singer, stayed here in Muleshoe with the trailer 
and the broken down van and rick dakota uh outlaw and joey rented uh, a truck in clovis uh, or a van excuse me and loaded up their equipment and left and earlier this week i believe i texted with one of them on monday or tuesday they arrived safely in jacksonville so good luck to them on their futures and hopefully they uh, will hear from all of them again but we'll have these programs from Tumbleweed Smith on our Sounds of Texas coming up here over the next se- several months. So look for all of those. Again, Mac McLeod, Breaking Solace, The Rock Band, The Barrett Family about their potato business, and Sergio Liao about the Tortilla Factory. You can hear the Sounds of Texas at the end of every Mule Train. Find it in the Mule Train News Program free of charge on demand at MuleshoeTV.com. Well, if you've noticed over the past several days, two regional news uh, sources have done stories on Matthew Alarcon, uh, Muleshoe Mules. Uh, Muleshoe High School's own Matthew Alicon about his overcoming uh, brain cancer. And uh, w- the first one was over the weekend in the Avalanche Journal. We uh, retweeted that, and you can find the, the link to that story in our Twitter feed, bottom left corner of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. And then on Monday or Tuesday in the 10 o'clock news, KCBD did a long feature on Matthew Alicon as well. I'm sure you can find that on KCBD's website as they never – uh, put it out on their Twitter feed, but uh, we're glad that Matthew Alicon is getting uh, good press out there, and uh, he, as he was recently covered in the Avalanche Journal along with KCBD. The Mule Shoe Independent School District has partnered with the Laura W. Bush Institute for Women's Health to bring a valuable experience to the community. Together this fall, they will host an enjoyable and educational Girls in Real Life Bloom Where You Are Planted program. Uh, it's an event for young ladies enrolled in MISD's 5th through 8th grades and their mother or female role model. Girl Power is designed to help girls and young women develop a strong bond with their mother or significant role model and equip them with appropriate knowledge and skills to enable them to make the best decisions for their futures. This year's program will be covering topics such as self-esteem, nutrition, exercise, personal safety, and cyberbullying, along with other health and wellness uh, topics. They would like to provide with this program food, shirts, fun activities, door prizes throughout the day to make the attendees feel very special. They will also have goodie bags for each attendee. And if you have something you would like to donate, you can call Madeline Hedinga at 575-749-7500. Three three. That's again Madeline Hedinga five seven five seven four nine seven five three three. Again, this bloom where you're planted program girls in real life will be saturday october 26 from 10 a.m to 1 p.m at the muleshoe high school commons area for misd students fifth through eighth grade girls and their mother or female role model so that sounds like a great program and we hope that it does really well and if you again have things to donate for their goodie bags or their activities, call Madeline Hedinga, 575-749-7533, and that's the Muleshoe Schools in conjunction with the Laura W. Bush Institute for Women's Health. We'll be back with more Mule Train in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Since 1925, AIM Bank is proud to be one of the largest locally owned and operated banks in West Texas. Our expert bankers have an in-depth understanding of the local economy, and we are proud to provide our customers with quick local loan decisions. At AIM Bank, we know that strong local partnerships are crucial for growth and success. Investing in you has been our focus from day one. We provide the latest in technology for your online and mobile banking with features like mobile check deposit. At AIM Bank, we care about your accounts as much as you do. So we pride ourselves on real personal attention because we are also your neighbor. We invite you to come in and experience the real personal attention AIM Bank has to offer. We want to know you because we live, work, and raise our families right here in Muleshoe 2. AIM Bank is committed to making a difference in the communities we serve. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
Help us welcome to Mule Shoe Dr. Kenneth Burke. Kenneth Burke Dio is now practicing full time in the medical clinic of Mule Shoe and is ready to see patients for an appointment. Call today, 806 272 7544. Dr. Burke was born in De Leon, Texas, and went through Corpus Christi and Lubbock on his path to Mule Shoe for his undergraduate training. And then in the U.S. Navy, he was responsible for mobilization and security of the medical and chaplain team. Shawnee, Georgia for medical school, and then Jersey City, New Jersey for his medical internship and family practice residency. Welcome to Mule Shoe. Dr. Burke, he's purchased a home here and ready to make Mule Shoe home again for an appointment call. The Medical Clinic of Mule Shoe, 806 272 7544. Help us welcome Kenneth Burke, DO, to Mule Shoe. Wedding shower selections at Frying Cogs 401 South 1st Street in Mule Shoe for Bailey, Ruth Hart, and Cole Helton. Shower set for September the 14th. Brand new in stock, a great selection of Continental batteries from garden tractor size up to commercial heavy-duty batteries from Continental. Frying Cox's large selection of pop sockets, phone grips, and phone stands are all marked down 25% off now. Get the delicious, the original, savory party cracker seasoning. No bake, simple to make, and several different flavors like classic original, cinnamon toast, sweet barbecue, Texas Chipotle, and more. Fall brings the time to get out and work on your lawns, and Frying Cox has great fall lawn fertilizers and several different kinds, including lawn and tree winterizers. Reseeding your lawn is best during the fall season as well, and Frying Cox has several different varieties of Scott's lawn seed, including sudden shade mix, high traffic mix, tall fescue mix, and Wonder Lawn brand Kentucky Bluegrass and Bermuda Seeds, all available. Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Mule Shoot. They're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Dr. Kerry Moore will be inducted in the West Texas A&M Communication Hall of Fame next weekend on September the 27th at 6 o'clock in the evening at the Legacy Hall on the campus of WT there in Canyon. Dr. Moore started teaching at Muleshoe High School Speech, English, and Debate in 1960. So that's a great thing that he will be inducted again into the WT A&M Communications Hall of Fame next weekend. The Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous meets every Tuesday along with Friday nights at 7 p.m. at the First United Methodist Church, 507 West 2nd Street. Please use the Fellowship Hall door. AA is a fellowship of both men and women who share their hope, strength, and experience to stay sober one day at a time. That's AA meets here in Muleshire every Tuesday and Friday at 7 in the evening at the First United Methodist Church, 507 West 2nd Street. Please use the Fellowship Hall door, which is on the north uh, northwest side of the uh, church. In our bargain basement today, we have uh, need, needed shoe boxes for mom's Sunday school class for a project that they're doing. You can call Mag Ann Reynolds at 806-272-4989. That's needed shoe boxes for a Sunday school class project, again, called Mag Ann Reynolds, 806-272-4989. Need to hire a garden backhoe for about an hour work in Sudan at the old motel near the edge of town. Call 806-227-2214, or um, you can just go by that old motel. Also, they have there at the motel for sale a 1998 Pontiac Grand Prix for $3,000. It's mechanically in very good condition. Again, call 806-227-2214. On your prayer list today, please remember Pat Nichols, Don Williams, Patty Kent, Matthew Alicon, J.W. Harrington, Butch and Judy Cox, the youth uh, in our community, Tanya Crawford, Marshall and Ann Head, Susan Kirby, Sally Ellis, uh, who's in the Park View, Leonardo Avilas, Kearney Scoggin. Also remember Olin Clements, Eric Hall, Landon Nichols, Clinton and Maxine Rogers, Doris Scott, Dorothy Turner. Continue to remember Ronnie Dent on your prayer list today, Denise Coldiron, uh, Patricia and Stanley Wilson, Paula Benton, Ramon Guillen, Wilsey and Mary Moore, residents at Parkview, Jimmy Alicon. 
who's uh, new in hospice, Joe and Donald Phelps, Gail and Eddie Morris, Jack and LaVon Henderson, Robert and Maureen Hooten. Robert is in the park view as well. Terry and James Byers, Martha Joe Black, Scott and Gail Oliver. Remember Linda Stovall on your prayer list today as well. Remember those that have recently lost uh, a loved one, uh, the family of Bobby McGee, the family of Curtis Martin and Ted Millen, Rom uh, Roman Gabriel Franco, the family of Tabby Cantrell and Alma Pearson, the family of Jose Muniz, Maddie Robertson, the family of Eddie Bean, and the family of Jerry Lionel Gleason. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our Mule Train News programs free of charge on demand on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. J.R. found a home in Alpine. Details in a moment on The Sound of Texas. The Sounds of Texas is brought to you here on AW Broadband Channel 6 and at MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They are celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They are owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at bcecoop.com. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle. All hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Radio station KVLF in Alpine is a unique facility. It has a bomb shelter inside the building and a herd of goats in a fenced pasture just outside the station. J.R. Smith works at the station, and he's a unique individual. He does a 30-minute program every Thursday. He interviews musicians. Jamming and jawing with J.R. And we try to crowd in at least four songs and sometimes five. J.R. grew up in Sherman and was the first student body president at Grayson County College. Had an opportunity to go to West Point. Representative Ray Roberts from Bonham gave me that opportunity, but I already had a back problem from football in the eighth grade. My doctor told me that you'd never spend a minute in class. You'll get up there that first three months, and they'll put that pack on your back and run you down the road, and your back will give out. J.R. has been the chamber executive in Alpine and managed the Alpine Cowboys baseball team. His first job in the Alpine area was working as a cowboy on a ranch. They caught a mountain lion on there one time. I scared up a bobcat one day. You can hear the coyotes on occasionally. And a lot of gambles, quail, white-winged doves, great sunrises and sunsets. Growing up, J.R.'s job at home was washing dishes. Before Mother got home from work at the grocery store that evening, I had to have the dishes washed, and I had it down pat. I could start at about 15 minutes till time for her to get home, and I could whip them out. Recently, he's been washing dishes again to help a friend. I uh, have eaten breakfast many times at Judy's B&B, and I uh, was there one Saturday when it was packed with tourists and tables were covered with dirty dishes and food and I needed somebody to come out and bust the tables. And so I went back there and helped her. I'm an artist. I paint and have a tremendous amount of inventory of artwork around. And artists starve if they don't have something else to do. And I've told a lot of young artists, if you don't wait tables or do dishes somewhere, you're not a legitimate artist. J.R. Smith of Alpine. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas, now in its 50th year.